So in this video, we're going to show who is online and we have this connected user state. We created this in the last video. We are going to pass this state inside this chat component. Connected users. And inside this component, we are going to receive it. And here we are going to create a Boolean. Const is online. Connected users dot length. If it is greater than zero, we are going to run a filter over it. User and user dot user ID is equals to chat dot messages with if its length is greater than zero. So these connected users, we have the property user ID and socket ID inside this. And we are checking here if user dot user ID is equals to chat dot messages with. And now inside this comment dot author, after this chat dot name, we are going to check if is online. We are going to return an icon from here. The name of the icon is going to be circle. Size is going to be small. And the color is going to be green. Now if I run my server. So here inside Chrome, I'm logged in as Jando and inside the edge, I am logged in as Inder. So what we are going to do is go to the messages page here. And now you can see it is not being shown online. But if I go to the messages page here too, and after 10 seconds, we have set an interval to emit the event. So after every 10 seconds, so right now you can see uh, while I was talking, it is set to online. So after every 10 seconds, data is being sent from the server of the connected users. So the user doesn't have to refresh the page to see who is online and who is not. And we can see it inside here too. You can see Jando is being sent online. So now back to VS code here where we have the use effect. We are going to create a cleanup function here. And here we are going to check if socket dot current. What we are going to do is remove the user from the server. So socket dot current dot emit disconnect and we don't need to pass any data inside this we already have the socket id and socket dot current dot off so this will remove this event listener and now inside a server dot js we are going to listen for this disconnect event so here make sure you outside of these brackets right here this is for the join event so socket dot on disconnect and on the second argument, we have the function callback. And here we are going to call the remove user function and pass in the socket dot id. So the, again, the socket is basically the client who is connected and we are going to pass, pass its id and remove it from the user's array. And after this, I'm just going to log user disconnected. You can remove this log statement after. I'm just going to keep it to show you what is happening actually. And the join, when the user joins, I'm going to log all the users so you can see what we are actually creating on our server. And now I'm going to save this and let it refresh. And let it refresh here. So now you can see we get the user disconnected because when we refreshed the page moved, the page reloaded. And we have the one user. And if I go to this page, there is another log of these users right here with this user ID and the socket ID. And now if I go back and from the edge, I'm going to go back to the home and you can see we get the log user disconnected. So now in the next video, we're going to load the messages of a chat with socket.io. So I will see you there.